Ah! Hi guys, sorry, but I had to respond to this. Former Tory Chancellor Norman Lamont was brought on to GB News where he was asked if the pandemic or Brexit had been more damaging. Now, I think this is a huge step forward for GB News, asking which is more damaging when it used to be the case that they were selling the idea that Brexit had been a success. Now it's which is more damaging. Anyway, the Brexiteer claimed that leaving the EU hadn't been damaging and then used the debunked idea that trade was up or at least hadn't been affected by the exit from the single market. Then he talked about bureaucracy and you will not believe what he said. Have a listen. What do you think's been more damaging for the economy? Covid or Brexit? That's the big debate that often takes place at the dinner pay- table. Well, I don't think Brexit's had any damaging effect ah. on the economy, would be my own. Tell that to the Europhiles. Why do you say that? Well, I'm- Not tell that to the Europhiles. <laughs> He's denying reality. Tell that to reality. OK. May say it to the, well, if you just look at our trade statistics and our trade statistics with Europe, they're back on trend where they were before. I don't... Dis- OK. <sighs> What it, when I said that this had been debunked, if you strip out oil and gas and you adjust for inflation, trade with the European Union is down. It has to be down. If you put up barriers to trade, then trade will decrease. That's reality. That's counting. Dispute that some small businesses find a lot of the form filling rather onerous, large business. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I thought Brexit was supposed to be about removing bureaucracy. Removing red tape. Now you're saying, well, you know, some small businesses find this paperwork a bit cumbersome, but the big businesses are doing okay. Well, the big businesses, some of them are doing okay because they're able to throw money at the problem. But the small businesses, many of them have closed. Many of them have downsized. Some of them have moved operations to the EU in order to continue to operate. That's not success. Businesses, I think, like Nissan said the other day, they have had, to their surprise, found uh, actually they were coping perfectly well. (laughs) But if you give them money, they will succeed or do well, (laughs) of course. Like, no mention of the money that was given to Nissan, no no mention of any money that's been given to big industry to remain in the United Kingdom, or Great Britain, I should say. I, I don't think it's had any harmful effect. We have a people's panel on. It's in Birmingham at the moment. We've got two uh, chaps on the panel who um, are businessmen and they're saying about the lack of relief for people running SMEs. Do you sympathise with that? We've had 6% shaved off already fragile profit margins with this rise in corporation tax. We've talked a lot about individual income tax and household tax. What about business taxes? Do they need to come down? Well, I think uh, perhaps they ought to look at things like the VAT threshold for small businesses. Raising that... How is that going to help exporters? Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to tinker around with uh, VAT. That should help you export. Yeah, but our problem is actually health certificates. Our our problem is actually the paperwork in in exporting. (laughs) Cutting VAT or or messing about with VAT isn't going to help. About 85 grand. Yes, I think that's not that expensive as I remember. I think that's something that maybe they ought to think about. It's this all form filling and bureaucracy that small businesses find so difficult. But you campaigned for that. You are a Brexiteer. You wanted these businesses to have more bureaucracy. Like you can't turn around now and say, well, the problem is the bureaucracy. You told them there would be no bureaucracy if they voted to leave the European Union. You can't turn around now and say, well, you know, (laughs) there's all this bureaucracy. This is insane. Of course, he's not going to be challenged on GB News because they're pro-Brexit. But, my God, can somebody not ask him, why did you tell people to vote to leave the European Union to reduce bureaucracy? And now you're turning around and and saying, well, you know extra bureaucracy goes along with the territory are you going to apologize to lying to people are you going to apologize for your mistake no you've just turned around and said well brexit isn't a problem brexit can't be compared with the pandemic because the pandemic is damaging while brexit isn't damaging look he's completely ignoring the experts the obr the bank of england even came out and said brexit is a problem and the current governor is a brexiteer like the IMF, like all of these major 
organizations with experts have said that Brexit is a problem. A 4% drop. Hundreds of billions per year. And this, of course, is, is just the beginning because the checks on goods coming in have not begun completely and there are more problems later on uh, in the year. This is just insane. And this response, well, yeah, everything is fine. <laughs> and if there is some extra bureaucracy, it's just for small businesses. It's for all importers and exporters now. If you're exporting into the single market, if you're importing from the single market, the the uh, there's bureaucracy on both sides of the border. And this is damaging trade. Like the whole point of being in the single market is that you don't have all this bureaucracy. Just by saying, well, it's just for small businesses. So is this a bit like Boris Johnson when he said F business? This is just F small businesses? I, I hope there are some small business owners watching this and realizing these people are not on our side. Brexiteers don't care about business, especially small ones. They only care about hedge fund managers or people with offshore bank accounts. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.